my medication. I take Ritalin. I know, very controversial. Oh my god, turns people into zombies, does all sorts of things, can sell it on the street. Everything I just say mean because um, I think that's where I want to start before I go into anything else. Um, so I have ADHD, also known as uh, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Although I greatly disagree with that <laughs> title, it's more like it's not like I have a deficit of attention, I actually have too much, it's just all over the place. Quote, many great people who have <laughs> articulated it quite clearly for me and I parrot now, but you know, I'm just going to be honest here. <laughs> um, so, big, big thing for me with my disorder is I get bored. All the time, constantly, everything, all day long. Um, it's always a constant battle against my brain for stimulation and when I am sometimes I can like get sucked into doing something for hours <laughs> and um, that's called hyperfocus. <laughs> um, it's a gift and a curse. <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's where I'm gonna start with all of this I think. So I currently live in Auckland, New Zealand. I'm currently in the Waitakere's. I live kind of down there somewhere. So I've just walked up to the top of the hill. It's not really that far. It's not that steep either. It looks like it from here, but trust me, it's not. Okay, uh, next little bit of housekeeping, I guess. Um, so, um, because of what I just described, uh, consequently, it's been very hard for me to do a lot of things that everyone else does and um, this is only a portion of the problem it's just a big part of the problem um, mentally anyway a lot of things I can do uh, some days are better than others but mentally combating chemicals in the brain is, um, and the way I'm wired up is a dilemma so um, I have a neurodevelopmental disorder, uh, also can be described as a neurobiological disorder, and um, so I was born like this, there's no other way to get it unless you suffer like massive head trauma I believe, um, and uh, it mostly affects the um, prefrontal cortex of your brain. So. Um, Processing and ordering in my mind is not broken, but it's kind of like got a lag. Um, and when it comes to dopamine and serotonin, which are the things that make you happy and regulate your emotions, um, that's kind of also broken. So basically, there's pathways in my brain and it has holes in it. And um, sometimes the serotonin or dopamine hits my brain and um, falls down through these holes and gets stuck there so I don't get enough or it floods and I get too much um, and that's a, like a huge part of why um, finding things that stimulate me or keep me interested um, is so hard to find and I'm constantly looking for it okay so part of the reason why I'm filming while I'm walking is one to show you the views of my country because it's beautiful but also because it helps me concentrate. Um, I just filmed this before, but I just took a phone call from my partner. So I'm going to go out somewhere else after this, and I'm going to cut this walk short. <laughs> that was a bit of a surprise. I thought I was just going to be sitting here doing my thing. Um, but yeah, so let's go. I've got to, I've got to go meet him, so let's get on to that. So it took a little bit to get back on track there, mentally. Just <laughs> I was in the zone, and I got interrupted. That's another huge thing. Um, 
If I get disturbed while I'm trying to concentrate, um, it's really, really hard to get back onto task. Um, that's something I've also struggled with my whole life. Um, it's also part of my diagnostic criteria. All my school reports said that, and um, it wasn't until it was pointed out to me that I realised how much I struggled. Like, I just averagely struggled, and it wasn't from any amount of try and effort. So, to show you the sort of efforts I go through, that's what I want to document. I don't think people realise how hard day to day it is. And there's so much stigma, like people think I have to be bouncing off the walls or, um, <laughs> I don't know, every kind of stereotype, they think it's only for children, but it's not. You're born with it and you have it forever, you don't grow out of it, you just become an adult with it. Um, but it's so detrimental for children to learn the skills they need to navigate life. And if you're diagnosed later in life, like I was, you quite often don't have those skills. Um, you develop your own, some negative, some positive. Um, for the most part, my coping mechanisms and what I've developed have been very positive. Um, but I've also made a lot of immediate decisions that I didn't think through. I didn't think about the consequences. Um, hey, it's me, can you see? Um, <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of that going on as well, um, and that affects everything, you know, it's like a, a snowball, it just gets bigger and bigger once it starts rolling down the hill, you know, there's a lot of things you can do to stop that snowball, but um, ultimately, as life shows us that um, sometimes things are just out of our control, and a lot of things that we've done in our life lead us to the various consequences of what we've got to deal with later, and um, sometimes there's no changing that and it includes coping mechanisms and learned life skills and what motivates you and not motivates you and yeah how to navigate living with a mental health disorder okay as you can see this little while later i've had a slight uh um because say costume change i've <laughs> i've changed my clothes um i so my battery ran out um just after the last thing i said which is great because i'm glad i got what i was thinking off of my head however I don't know if I will include it now because I don't know in hindsight I'm thinking I've probably said some defamatory stuff and things that I can't actually say so if you don't see that and I don't include it this is the edit showing that that's what I'm gonna do but anyway so I meet up with my partner and I'm now going to head out to this place called Long Bay he's got work to do out there so um, I'm gonna go for a walkie walk and uh, a walkie talk what was I actually talking about context giving everything context um, yeah so why am I doing this now where am I at in my life and yeah so um, currently I'm not working, I was working at a mental health community centre and um, I was teaching there, I was teaching art journaling which is a class that I um, facilitated by myself and um, the nature of the centre is peer support, um, so it's run by people like me four people like me and um, I found my place there for a while and then yeah I just had some issues of management I, I said all this stuff before and just for the sake of defamation I'm, I'm re recording this and that's sort of why I, I might not use what I was saying before but I'm just going to leave it at that because it is what it is I think I'm just gonna have to wait for the wind to go away. Uh, this is gonna happen. I'm at a beach. Not this way. Can you see where I am? Kind of. South the old. Beautiful spot here. Oh, there we go. There. Yeah. See the background. Yeah. Go. Okay. Right. Context. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, do I need to give context anymore? I think I might just insert clips of bloopers now because this is just crazy. 
and I'm kind of bored about talking about the fucking context already. Um, you know what I really wanted to say is that I'm at a new point in my life and I need to move on and I need to do something else I can do forever. Um, and so many people find that it's their ADHD that they can do forever, but surprise! <laughs> Of course, it's like going to be with you forever, so you're going to be dealing with it forever. Um, oh gosh, okay, don't go into the windy spot. I was like, oh, let's, let's get some more background in here. Okay, I'm at a place called Vaughan Historic Homestead. Pretty cool. Kind of creepy. Spooky little house up on the hill all by itself. Let's go for a bit of a walkie walk. So... Hopefully the wind isn't so bad up this track. Oh my gosh, everything around here is so beautiful. Wow. So I keep thinking about what to say next. Well, wish me luck. <laughs> I hopefully can do something good with this. Um, turn my life into something that's helps others, that's what I've been doing so far, my previous job, and um, that took me places mentally that I didn't think I could go and I, I want to keep doing that. I used to be a lot more reserved and a lot, a lot more cynical, I think. My outlook before my previous job and now is definitely different. I think I've grown up a lot as well. Um, when I left my previous career and decided to study art, um, I knew art something I loved to do, so that was part of the process. And it was also around the same time I got my diagnosis, so and I just haven't figured out what to do to make money. And I'm not doing this for that. It's literally just something to do for now because I want to be better. I want to be able to go back to full-time work in some capacity and a career that I can handle and that would be really cool if this could be that because I like being creative so it's about finding something that you know works for those things oh my gosh the Kura River one hour two minutes do I have that kind of time my shadow hey <laughs> um, I'm going back the reserve site not the beach side much more sheltered in here I should have tried to film all that stuff that I wanted to say for here but that doesn't really matter none of that stuff really matters what matters is what I do from here on in and oh no um, I'm happy with my lot for the most part it's just I, I need to find something I can do with my life and hopefully this will be it um, especially while I'm trying to figure that out and if it turns into something great and if not, well you know, I can just keep trying um, I'm hoping this will give me some more confidence I'm not the sort of person who likes to be on camera um, and I'll do a bit more of me um, but um, for now I thought, you know wouldn't it be nicer to just enjoy the scenery oh my gosh, I'm getting there back there a lot faster than I thought I said to my partner I was like I'll be there in like 10 minutes <laughs> um anyway this place is really nice I definitely haven't been through the reserve but um I would have kept going um and I and I'm glad I turned back when I did because you can see the time I didn't go as far as I was going to I went to the top of the hill filmed a little bit uh, took some photos and thought I just call that a day. It's starting to get cold. The sun will set in like an hour or so. Well, will really go down in about an hour. Okay, I just got out of the shower and thought I would share my outfit. Da -da 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 -da. Much cooler than my um, exercise gear, but um, this is all thrifted, um, including the stockings. So um, the top was $3. I bought that in Taupo from um, Salvation Army. I went shopping with my mum. It was about four weeks ago. I was down in Taupo. Um, I got the skirt last week for $8 from a store called um, 
dress no not dress mart save mart <laughs> and um yeah so and yeah this is great secondhand buy and it's really twirly I'm really happy with that I think it's quite feminine very good for spring um I'm wearing some stockings I thrifted for three dollars it was a pack of four stock of uh, four stockings um, for three dollars and the little house socks I got for free from the donations table that was at my old job at the community center so yeah I'm feeling pretty good um yeah it's all that fits me at the moment because I'm trying to lose weight and um I will do that at some point um that's hence a lot of the walking that's that's a part of the walking but not the only reason and um I mean it's all about my mental health and stuff as well so yeah I'm quite happy with them you can see my legs are getting a bit toned up slowly but surely <laughs> um so another part of my daily struggle is i forget to drink coffee so we're gonna have to nuke this guy i hate nuked coffee especially when it gets a skin on it uh this is like the third time I've tried to film this because um, my cat keeps interrupting me but now he has finally settled on my lap and he hasn't managed to snag my stockings so far so that's good right as I was saying for the third time these are my four walls this is where I spend most of my time because I'm not working and um, earlier on I mentioned that there's five things I'm up to at the moment and walking was one of them so I want to talk about those five things while I drink my semi lukewarm coffee which I, I just nuked and because I've just da taken so many um, takes with this I haven't even drunk it yet anyway anyway we'll get to that I can't even reach it right now because somebody's in the way right now later um, I've been editing and I realize I must say I just waffled on way too much and it's not interesting so I'm gonna keep this very brief this is my list of the five things I'm gonna do I'm looking for work I'm doing exercise I'm going to the gym I need to clean something I'm working on my art and um, finishing other projects that I have and I'm staying hydrated by drinking water um, I'm not going to elaborate on all those things, I think it's pretty obvious um, that the whole point of these five things was that it's a path forward for me, it's what I need to do for now to get through every day and just having a simple list like this and breaking down those tasks are the only thing that I have going on at the moment because that's all I can handle so that's another story for another day but yeah, that's, these are my five things so I think that will be me for the rest of the night. Um, I don't know if I'll leave this here. I just thought I should do some kind of an outro or something. Um, I think that's more. Thank you if you got this far and you watched it and please give me feedback. Um, I handle criticism okay, kind of. I try. Um, Criticism is good criticism. I'm, you know, if there's any way that I can be corrected, I'd love that. Um, if I'm even gonna do any more, I just see what feedback I get, if any views or anything, you know, just what, where is this gonna go? I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm open to anything right now. I'm just trying this out and, um, yeah, wish me luck and yeah, come back again for another video. Maybe I'll do daily vlogs. Just don't want to edit this too much. And um, and the app Snow is really cool. Like I highly recommend it. Please download it. Not sponsored. <laughs> I wish that would be so cool. Uh, that would be my job. That would be so cool. Mm, dreams and things. That's where I'm at. Anyway, I'm rattling now. So. <laughs> Thank you for watching and 